Then we have to hunker down and really use the best methods of science. Yeah, I, I pick up a, 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 an editorial by Eugene Robinson on the Washington Post. It says, what Dr. Mueller says proves that these skeptics are wrong and they've got to get on this cap-and-trade train. Uh, that's ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, some people say, oh, I proved that there was no climate gate. No, no. <laughs> the climate gate thing was a scandal. It was terrible what they did. It's shameful the way they, they hid the data. Um, uh, th there's real skepticism, valid skepticism about the degree of warming that's caused by humans. And at this meeting today, we're hearing mm -hmm. uh, a range of things that were not incorporated in the IPCC report and need to be incorporated in the future. Uh, the issue isn't whether there's global warming, it's how much there is. And then how much of that is caused by humans. And there's still a lot of uncertainty in that, and some of the skeptics are raising very good points on that issue. Do you feel frustrated that is it wrong for me to say that sometimes it sounds like what you're saying or the conclusion I can reach is that what you're saying has been distorted by people from the left and the right? Of, of course that's happening. But in the end, you know, we've written our papers. It's the sort of thing where the initial reaction, people hear some news and they, they put their own spin on it. They want to show that they were verified, mm -hmm. so they, they, they do that. But you know, over the weeks, over the months, uh, it'll settle down and people will realize what we actually said. We wrote scientific papers on this subject and they will read those. And when they read them, they'll look at the quality and they'll decide that whether they're up to the snuff. And I, I, I think these are very high quality papers. So do you think that even though you defend your paper, do you think that maybe you might have some second thoughts about doing the Wall Street Journal editorial? Oh, no, no, no. Because the headline was misleading? That maybe it got Oh, I don't think I would have done it if they were, if I, they told me they were going to change the headline. Uh, but if you read the article, I mean, mm -hmm. so many people just read the headlines. Sure. If you actually read the article, you will get the message. And, and so writing that article, I think, has helped calm down things. I, I, I meet people who are angry with me, scientists are angry with me, and they cite that article. From both I, sides? From both sides. And I say to them, did you know that the title uh, was changed by the Wall Street Journal? And they go, no. I say, here's my original title. And they go, oh. Now, why should that affect them? They didn't read the article. Last question for you. So, if you're the average American, and again, you don't have a dog in the fight, you're, you know, you want, you want the world to go on for millions of years for your grandchildren, etc. Is there a, a big takeaway from what, from what you've, uh, what, what you've uh, written in this paper? For the average person, the rise in temperature is small, 1.6 degrees. Uh, but it is real. We're not sure how much of that is due to humans, but the global warming models predict that it would be about that much. Now, there's some question about those models, some valid skepticism, but it's enough that we know we are playing in the ballpark where things could go catastrophic. So we should take prudent measures to, 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 to do this. We know we're putting a significant amount of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, and that it's, a, it's, it's, it's substantial compared to what's been there before. It's 36% more. Um, but it's also true, and the public needs to know this, that anything we do in the United States will not affect global warming by a significant amount. Because all projections show that most of the future carbon dioxide is going to be coming from China, India, and the developing world. So, yes, we have a problem. Yes, we should do something about it, prudent. But anything that we do that, uh, that, it, that will not be followed by China and India is, is basically wasted. Dr. Mueller, I appreciate your time.